This picture of a pink dog. And this one of a crying refrigerator. Were drawn by children with disabilities. These pictures have been turned into t shirts, bags, eye masks, and various other products by a store in Vietnam that is growing increasingly popular. Oh, it's too cute! <laughs> the products were created by the shop's owner, Pham T. Gan, who is 39. Gan runs a free art school for disabled children, providing them with an opportunity to learn all about art. Artwork created by children is so full of imagination. I realized that by releasing children's art as products and returning the benefits from sales to their families, I could do so much to improve their quality of life. Gan created a system for utilizing disabled children's talents to lift them out of poverty. She's a pioneer of social business, a concept virtually unheard of in Vietnam until recently. It is really amazing that my daughter's pictures could become a product like this that is seen by so many people. Her story. Hanoi, the capital of Vietnam. Gan has an office and workshop in the city. This is where she digitizes children's pictures and designs the products to feature them. We should attach a photograph of the rear of the product as well. That would definitely help the manufacturers get a much clearer picture of what the bag looks like overall. When it comes to creating a lineup, it takes, say, three months or so, including product development, design, and printing. The company, which Gan and two others began 10 years ago, has now grown to employ more than 20 staff members. Once or twice every month, Gan holds a staff meeting to decide which products to release based on more than 400 pictures. It looks like she's fishing. What are these blocks? If you turn it on its side, they could be an apartment block. This is interesting. We choose which paintings to use based on the purity of the elements. We also look at whether they will match the feel of the products we already have on sale. This picture is simple and colorful, and I think we can use it in various different designs. Gan's store is called Tohe. Its concept is 100% pure. In the store, which is decorated with lights and crafts produced by the children, Around 80 different products are on sale. Items such as pencil cases and slippers are part of their lineup. Through the store, I hope that everyone will be able to experience the pure hearts of these children. 
Most of Gan's local customers visit the store frequently. I found out that buying products here in the store is one way to support children with disabilities. That's the reason why I come here every now and then. This is a learning center for disabled children in Hanoi. Around 100 children receive educational and occupational training at the center, including those with autism, psychiatric disorders, and children affected by defoliant used in the 1960s during the Vietnam War. As these children cannot attend regular school, they have had few opportunities to go outside and don't have much chance to come into contact with art in their daily lives. Gan has been holding an art school here once a week for the past five years. Today, we decided to give all the children here an opportunity to play by drawing on and cutting paper plates. They are learning about all the different possibilities for things you can do to have fun with them. Don't you think this plate looks like the shape of a face? Wouldn't it be nice to make a mask by drawing some eyes, a nose, and a mouth? Gan does not decide on a particular theme, and instead lets the children experience art while just having fun. Unfortunately, in Vietnam, there isn't really any way for children to develop their sense of imagination. At ordinary schools, even very young children are simply supposed to follow the rules and have no choice but to do what the teacher instructs them. I think that the traditional method of education tends to ruin children's imaginations. The Learning Center is a non-profit, non-governmental organization, mainly supported by volunteer staff. In Vietnam, where only around 30% of disabled children go to school, it's an extremely valuable facility. After the art class, Gan paid a visit to the house of one of the students. Juan is a 14-year-old girl with autism. Juan has always loved painting pictures, and for the past five years, she has been attending the art school. I've brought a product to show you, featuring one of Juan's pictures. Oh, I remember this one. Gan pays 5% of the sales revenue from a product as royalties to the child who produced the original picture. I was surprised when I got a telephone call from a teacher at the learning center. She said that we could receive $150 for a painting by my daughter. I wasn't expecting that, so I was delighted. It's a great help to us. In Vietnam, $150 is equivalent to the starting monthly salary for a company worker fresh out of university. Older couples who both work may bring in around $500 a month. The money Hoan receives for her painting will pay for six months of school fees. Gan's business is helping to change attitudes among the families of children with disabilities. I am collecting old calendars for her so that she can have a chance to practice drawing on the back of them. I believe that there was nothing that my daughter could do because she has a disability. 
I knew she was drawing at home all the time, but I never imagined she had this kind of wonderful skill. <laughs> I'm very delighted today to see that Juan is loved by her mother and father. As unfortunate as it is, some of the children with autism learn that their parents cannot find it in their hearts to accept them. The inspiring women of Asia. We look at their lives through some of their favorite mementos. Gan was motivated to launch her business by this quote from Picasso, which she has on the wall of her store. It took me four years to paint like Raphael, but a lifetime to paint like a child. Gan has always loved children's drawings, and from her student days, she worked with disabled children as a volunteer. In 2006, she traveled to Spain where she first encountered this quote, which would change her life. These words opened my eyes. They helped me see what it was that I wanted to do with my life. After returning to Vietnam, Gan left her job at a design company and set up a new company together with her husband, Guen. They opened a store and called it Tohe. Tohe is a traditional Vietnamese toy. It is beautifully colored and made from sticky rice. Children can enjoy playing with it first, then once they have finished playing, they can eat it. It makes a delicious treat for them. Playing with something can also provide nourishment. That's the founding spirit behind Gan's business. At home, Gan is the mother of two children. Both her children have always loved drawing. The drawings adorn the walls all over the house. They still draw on the walls, even when I tell them not to. I want my mom to make something with my drawing, but she says not yet. I think my mom's job is great because it's interesting and it helps everyone. In the early years after Gan and her husband started their business, they had great difficulties keeping things on track. When I was exhausted, I used to come down here and take a walk. Walking all the way around this lake really helps me relax my spirits. Ten years ago, social businesses were virtually unknown of in Vietnam. At the time, our business model was too original, and so for the first three or four years, almost nobody trusted us. People said that we were trying to use children for our personal gain. We were even suspected of human trafficking. It was a huge shock for us. Gan's fortunes began to change when she received support from an overseas foundation that recognized the social nature of her business, supported her philosophy, and agreed to sponsor her in developing new products. This partnership gradually helped boost the profile of Tohei. 
as well as gaining access to overseas markets, the partnership increased the number of local companies taking an interest in Tohei's activities. One such company is a luxury hotel chain with more than 20 locations in Vietnam. When the company asked to work with her, it signified the recognition of her social business within the country. Tohei has a new business model unlike any other in Vietnam, and it's extremely interesting. In recent years, making a contribution to society is a priority issue for Vietnamese companies, and it's valuable for domestic companies to promote local culture. I truly think our collaboration with Tohei is sure to bring something wonderful to society. The partnership between the hotel and Tohei produced passport cases for overseas guests. The design of the product features the Long Bien Bridge, one of the most famous landmarks of Hanoi. It's the oldest bridge in the city and was built during the French colonial period. Locals call it the Horizontal Eiffel Tower. The project is an opportunity to publicize the work of Tohei to customers around the world. Gan chose an 11-year-old boy to produce designs for the project. Han Ding Chi, known by the nickname Nim, is a boy with autism. Gan has worked with him since she met him for the first time two years ago. Since he was very small, Nem has always loved producing artwork. He sketches very precisely. His abstract work puts adults to shame. Relying on his memory, he creates work in many styles. He produces a prolific volume of art, even though he's never studied the subject formally. I couldn't believe my eyes the first time I came in contact with his artwork. I cannot imagine what kind of unique vision he must possess. I spoke with his family, urging them about the possibility of developing products based on the pictures he's drawn, hoping to use some of them at events and occasions to support children with autism. His works have become particularly popular among Tohei's products, and the store now has a whole collection dedicated to his art. Nem's work has already featured in more than 15 different products. He has become the company's leading little artist. Two years ago, he was the first child in Vietnam with autism to hold his own exhibition. The company is using his artwork in an increasing number of ways, including fashion designs. <laughs> Gan's current project is to try and bring free art classes to impoverished and minority children living in rural mountain regions. Through this work, I believe we can solve many of the problems that children with disabilities are facing these days. I would be delighted if this artwork helps people feel the pure hearts of these children and encourages Vietnamese society to pay much more careful attention to disabled children. I hope that by way of the work of Tohei, all the people in our country can attain happiness. <laughs>